Live from Victory Park, this is News 8 Midday. Now by this point, most kids have settled into their back to school routine, but parents, the lunches that you're packing for your kids, are they getting a little stale? Well, home economist Brett Graff is here to show us some new ideas in a very nice lunchbox that's very different from what I was using back in school. From me too. <laughs> I have to tell you, parenting has evolved. Uh, I would say mm -hmm. that the number one ingredient to healthy meals, lunches, dinners included, okay. is planning. Okay. Okay, planning means never having to stop at the convenience store for a burrito. All okay. right. <laughs> that saves us money, um, and it's more nutritious. It, sh it sure is. It sure is. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of vegetables here, yeah. too. Yeah. Okay, so you have... We we have um, these Planet Box lunch boxes mm -hmm. come like with you know with these dividers, little compartments, and that's that's very helpful for many reasons. First of all, it helps us pack a rainbow of foods. Now we know that. Um, when you see a lot of colors, mm -hmm. there's a lot of nutrients that are represented. But also, did you know that the the colors have an effect on the brain? Really? Yeah, it affects your appetite. There's a sub mm. a subliminal effect. Uh, and for example, red, we our brains view is very sweet. Okay. And also, yellow is very appealing to us. And you know what? It is not a mistake that fast food restaurants use, use those re colors. I'm thinking McDonald's red and yellow. I see it here, but this is so In our logo. Well, from we can that use the same food. thing. We can we, mm -hmm. without without the team of marketing experts, right. we can use uh, tomatoes and and uh, yellow peppers. This really does look beautiful. And I see we even have some containers to put maybe a little sweet here to it, treat the kids. Exactly. Yeah. I think that um, a, something sweet at the end of the meal mm -hmm. is very satisfying. And when you have small portions, you can put something sweet for the kids mm -hmm. at the end. They know the meal is over and they don't feel deprived only eating a little because you're not leaving half of a cupcake. Right. You can just, with this, with these portions, and, and that, that brings me to remember that portions, it's what I call the portion principle, mm -hmm. it matters how much food we give our kids. And as parents, we don't want them to be hungry. It just feels so <laughs> no, horrible thinking that. that. But it's really <laughs> hard to estimate the pounds and the, gra the ounces or the grams, right? So these dividers make it very easy to give the right amount of portions. And, um, and when we give too much, obviously they get too many calories, but also, if they don't eat it, they throw it away. Okay. And then you're throwing away food, you're, you're throwing away money. money. Yeah. And not only that, but the quicker the food leaves your house, mm -hmm. uh, the, the quicker you have to go back to the supermarket. Okay. I would like to go to the supermarket less frequently. Yes, okay. yes, I agree. So let me ask you this. Yeah. This is a little bit smaller than this one. Do you suggest one for younger kids versus maybe Ex the high school kids? Exactly. Okay. Or, um, or if maybe a high school child has a snack before, uh, before an extracurricular activity. Okay. I like to give my child a snack before cross country, otherwise she comes home way too hungry. Okay. So you can do, you know, you, and, they, and you, they have so many sizes and so many compartments that you can really... Um, Customize them the way that you want. The way that you want. Uh -huh. You can even include, they have these little uh, containers for dips. Dips are an excellent oh, way yeah, to sneak in mm -hmm. nutrients. And they don't have to be always peanut butter and hummus. Like you can, I, what I did here was black beans, corn, and cilantro, and tomatoes. Oh, so that's a fresh salad there. Yeah, yeah, right. And so there's fiber in there. And there's greens in there, and you can. It's fun to dip it in. Um, it makes it fun to put in vegetables. You know, that's another uh, another viewpoint that our brains see when we when we see lots of colors. Mm -hmm. We we view it as more nutritious, and that looks more delicious to us. Mm -hmm. Not just because we want nutrients. It's just it's a oh, this our is bodies a are designed. You have here. I kind of want to have this for lunch um, after. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. With the show. Let's, let's, <laughs> <laughs> I think we should sit down and do that. Excellent. Brad, um, thank you so much. And quickly, you Yeah, I have a lot of tips about saving money and not overspending okay. on our kids in my book, Not Buying It, Stop Overspending. Very good. And so I want to give that to Excellent. you. Excellent. Thank right, you thank so you. much. Brett Graff, thanks for joining us. The Home Economist. Um, excellent tips. And you can see that also on WFAA.com. Great to be here. Thank so you.